Now that the rain is gone, a big sigh of relief in the Holy Fire Burn area. Yeah, most homeowners escaped the storm without any major damage, thankfully. Kick and I's Nicole Comstock is live in Lake Elsinore right now with an update, Nicole. That's right. And during the most significant rainfall out here today, a lot of rain and debris came straight down this hillside directly toward these homes. Now you can see just how much mud is left behind from that. But thankfully for these homeowners, this time around they had these K rails and these sandbags in place, and that really prevented some damage out here. Sandbags covered in mud, several inches of sediment caked in the street. The second time this home on Nottingham Way has been splattered with storm water that rolled downhill from the Holy Fire burn scar. So you no. must have had a lot of anxiety watching the storm come through. Yes. <laughs> yes. I, I thought, not again, just please stop. A heavy round of steady rain Thursday put Elaine Swick directly in the line of fire again. Only this time her K-rails and sandbags kept the bulk of it outside where it belonged. Thank goodness it didn't come into the house. This was the mess that mud made in her living room back in December, damaging her cabinets, floors, and walls. We're supposed to move out tomorrow. She's still anxiously waiting on the repair work from that round of rain. When I get the house fixed and come back home, then they'll be fine. <laughs> Maybe the county will step in and, and do some uh, work, you know. Steve Yanta went to work with a shovel, clearing a path in the mud so the roaring water would rush around these houses. Those flood control people, they're out there 24 hours clearing, making sure all that debris is removed. We saw cranes moving K rails and crews clearing debris from a washed out Bosley Lane in Corona. Water and mud flow going. As well as Cal Fire uh, the crews bank, monitoring the raging road. water eroding the banks of the yeah, creek in Glen there. Eden. This is just a series of storms that will continue through the winter. We don't want anybody to let their guard down just because, again, we survived. And those mandatory evacuation orders have since been downgraded to voluntary evacuation warnings. Reporting live in Lake Elsinore, Nicole Comstock, KCAL 9 News.